Hello and welcome to 6DOF Reviews. I am Pete Austin and today the question is, anyone for tennis? Well, tough luck if you are, because instead of playing tennis today, we are going to go to the Racket Club. Racket Club is the latest game from Indie Stalwarts Resolution Games, one of the crown jewels of virtual reality development. It is also the latest iteration on the increasingly crowded racket sport market. Coming up against such heavy-hitting table tennis tables as Eleven and Racket Fury, there are also multiple full-court tennis games available as well, and there's even a more direct competitor in the form of Pickleball 1. Resolution Games has a fantastic pedigree with competitive multiplayer titles. The likes of Blaston and Ultimex particularly are both absolutely fantastic, so this is a development studio that definitely has the experience to pull something like this off. Here in Racket Club we can see the Resolution Games has once again demonstrated an understanding for what makes gaming fun in their approach to Racket Club. Now rather than recreating an existing sport, they have taken inspiration from popular IRL games such as tennis and squash and even games like pickleball and racquetball. They've fused all of these elements together with a real focus on the elements that work in VR and that make playing a game fun. So Racket Club provides you with a walled court that shares elements with squash and pickleball. And the game can be played either in single player matches or doubles matches with the court size changing depending on the number of people that are playing the game. This means the way the court is all set up it means that there's absolutely no artificial movement either needed or available which is both a blessing and a curse. One of the things that has made previous full court tennis titles so difficult is how you make the movement work in a satisfying way. So what Resolution Games have done here is thrown that out the window and said we will make the court the size that it is, the, the, the size that you need, and you can play it in room scale or not at all. And this is why I say it's both a blessing and a curse. This means that it will be accessible. VR sickness be damned. If you are somebody who suffers from VR sickness, you will be a-okay here. But if you, like me, do not have large available play spaces in your home, you are really going to struggle with this game. So in order to play comfortably and confidently, players will need a space of around 2 meters wide and 3 meters deep. Now anything less than that, and there are just quite frankly going to be parts of the court that you simply will not be able to reach, they just won't be accessible. There are no stick movement or button press that will allow you to get into those spots. If there's a table in your real world space and the ball drops there, your choices are to lose that point or to smack the table and also lose that point. The choice is yours, friends. So the gameplay, if you are lucky enough to have an adequate play space, is fantastic. It's wonderful. It's incredibly addictive. I have played this game a couple of times where I've moved furniture I think people and made a space big enough. And on those instances, oh, I have had some fun. This is really, really great. The only thing that I didn't like about it was the fact that Omar is so much better than I am at it. It's infuriating, it's frustrating, but it's true. There's also a really great mixed reality mode. Now the mixed reality mode, what it does, it takes a little bit of getting used to, but it effectively makes your play space the real world, and then overlays the opponent's court into VR. So it's sort of half real, half not. There's no interplay. But what it does mean is if you are a little bit unsure of exactly where that table is or where that wall is because you've pushed right out to the limits of your available space, you can see it. There was one point where I, <laughs> I chuckled. I was playing in the bathroom and I watched as a drop shot literally dropped into my toilet. And there was no way I was hitting that one. <laughs> what fun. So yes, if you are lucky enough to have a nice big space, this is a great game. This is, honestly, you don't have to worry about stick movement. You can lunge around. It's quite like Blast On in that fact. It requires your physical movement. You want to leap forward, dash back, 
all around the court. It's, it can be quite active and it really is immersive and engaging because of that fact. <laughs> if you don't have a 3 by 2 space, you're probably not going to be able to play it. Like, get it and give it a try because it's really good and I love it. But be prepared to refund it because if you don't have that space, it's no bueno. You're not going to get any fun out of this. So, Racket Club, the game, the sport that you're playing, has its own unique rules, which are very easy to understand, but what it does also have is a skill curve that makes mastering the techniques required to win both challenging and rewarding. Now, one of the best things about this game are the physics. The physics of the ball, it just works. Like, it feels like hitting a real ball. Every shot is responsive and it feels accurate. There was only, like, the tiniest amount of times where maybe I hit the ball, like, way out of the court and I thought oh that didn't really feel fair I don't think that's the shot that I played but for the most part for 99% of shots they've got this just right what it also does is it allows you in fact encourages you to develop a sense of finesse uh, some nice tactics in order to win the day you're not just smacking the ball as hard as you can you are going to be artfully chopping at the ball to deploy devious backspin or landing it just into a corner, a deftly placed shot right into the corner to have it bounce this way and that and bamboozle, bamboozle your opponent. This, this is the stuff of Racket Club and it's really, really good. My favorite mechanic though is the Ultra Rally, which is part of a scoring system, which I think is just really fantastic. Essentially, what it means is that as a rally goes on and progresses, the more shots you go back and forward, back and forward, the higher, or the more points, in fact, that that rally is worth. So it caps out at five. You can win a maximum of five points from an Ultra Rally, but you could be down 6-1, oh, this isn't going very well. You could be down 10-5 and think to yourself, well, gosh, I think I'm out. I think I've lost. And then one good rally and bam, you're back in the game. Uh, it also has an increasing sense of tension that doesn't really happen in most other sports. In all of the other sport games we play, generally speaking, yes, the longer you go on, the more you want to win it. But if you lose, you lose your standard one point and you go on to the next point. You could be down or you could be winning, in fact. 10 to 7, let's say, and then suddenly it hits Ultra Rally, and then you realize, oh god, this is now match point. It's really fantastic. It makes these rallies become epic and tense and exciting in a way that usually doesn't actually happen in a racket sport. So, well done, Resolution Games. It is a unique twist with escalating excitement that is just so intuitive, and it's a surprise that more sports haven't actually adopted a similar mechanic. So there's also a single player campaign to play through, which actually offers some decent challenges as long as you don't exploit the glitch in the AI. Now I'm not gonna tell you what that is other than to say there is a bit of a glitch. Resolution Games says they are working on training their AI model uh, in this. And if you do find it, don't exploit it. Don't be that guy or girl. Don't be that gamer. Just play normally. So there are also a range of practice drills to perform that are all designed to hone your advanced skills or at least get you through your basic skills and then hone your advanced skills and these are also surprisingly excellent and fun quite often drills in games tutorials you go through them as quickly as you possibly can just to get them done but because this will see you practicing the advanced skills that will make you good at the game and prepare you for playing against real players they're actually quite a bit of fun and they really do nail down on your skills all of this training will actually get you prepared for multiplayer and let me tell you multiplayer is where racket club really shines there is a fantastic social lobby where you can meet friends and challenge players to other matches and wander around in a nice big open air social environment uh, and this is a feature that resolution games have all but perfected with their vast experience of multiplayer titles demio blast on they pretty much understand how to create a great social lobby here, and quite frankly, a Resolution Games lobby is pretty much the benchmark. It's all fantastic. It speaks to a level of polish that should really be the standard these days. But it's on the court where Racket Club really makes its mark. When playing a friend, or even a total stranger, Racket Club provides an addictive challenge 
that just keeps you coming back for more. The physics, the responsiveness, the skill curve, the fact that every game you play, even when you lose, you can feel yourself getting just that little bit better, that little bit bolder, that little bit more willing to take a risk and try and play a match-winning shot. It's just so well-crafted. This, this whole game was a bit of a surprise for me. I thought it looked good. I didn't think it was going to hook me quite the way that it did. Now, graphically, Racket Club is not exactly setting a new standards, but it does get the job done. It's bright and it's colorful and it's playful. It fits the tone and the atmosphere of the game just right. Like I said, though, it's not going to be that game that makes you turn around and go like, whoa, Quest 3, that's crazy. But who cares? You won't be noticing it. You'll just be looking for where's that ball? Have I hit it correctly? Shall I do backspin? The sound effects that are present are great, and by that I'm really referring to the ball sounds, really. The, the ball sounds make a satisfying chop when you hit them, and this really satisfying uh, audio aid actually subconsciously reinforces the controller haptics and makes it feel even more like you've uh, hit the ball. Uh, but overall, I would say the audio is on the weaker side, and there could be some improvements made to that. It just feels a little bit too sparse. The music fits and it isn't distracting, but it doesn't add much of merit to the game. In fact, the, the whole audio during a match exudes that muffled stillness of a tennis match, which I guess is probably appropriate, but it leaves the gameplay feeling slightly more empty than it really should have. But with that one gripe aside, generally speaking, I can wholeheartedly recommend Racket Club. If you are a fan of racket sports, this is amongst the best ball physics and racket physics that there is. It is a unique game with a unique scoring system. It's got a single player campaign for you to win or play. It's got multiplayer, which is very polished and very well set up. All in all, it is one of the very, very best racket games out there. So. Once again, I salute you, Resolution Games. Well done. And if you like this game and you think, I wonder what else Resolution Games have done, go play Ultimax. I'm just going to throw that in there because Ultimax is a, an amazing free game by Resolution Games. It is still in my top 10 all-time VR games. I love it. And I just don't think it got the, I don't think it got the love that it deserved. But back to Racket Club. I shall leave you, dear viewer, with the following summation. Eight. Aces. If you like the channel and enjoyed this review, hit ye olde subscribey likey likey subscribey buttons. Blah 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 blah. If you enjoyed the channel, if you in if you if you enjoyed the channel and would like to stay up to date with all the news, reviews, and interviews, click the subscribe button now. And if you would like, try and hit that like button as well. Service. One nil. Ultra rally. Five, no. Three, <laughs> the second it said you ultra also. rally, <laughs> you put. Third set. Three. <laughs> <laughs>